action. Okay, can we talk about how great Michelle looks in this angle? Can we start the show again? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get mine. Yeah. Let's talk about me. Hold on. If I was a fan and you were the rest of the general hospital right now, I'd be so bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Soaps in Quarantine. I'm Nancy Lee Gron, and I'm here with my bestie, Corey Bennell. Hi. We, we brought you GH Now a couple of years ago, and now we're bringing you this because we want to bring some light and laughter into your home during a very serious, difficult time. And uh, we're going to try to um, just make this fun. We're going to be light about, we're going to be really light about this, but we're not being light about this. Yeah, you will be. Definitely take this seriously, but yeah. I think we all need, you know, we're, all of our studios are, are shut down, appropriately so. So good and responsible of them to do that. And um, so the shows are airing, because most, I, I don't know about the other shows, but I know GH has enough shows in the can to last a while. You know, at least last a month or, you know, longer. So um, you're going to be seeing, obviously you're seeing the shows air in a timely way, but we're all sitting home with nothing to do. And because we're actors or writers or performers, we don't have an audience. So we, we, we need to do this <laughs> or we'll go mad. No, I just and thought. Fr it. Quite frankly, I got tired of Nancy calling me and just <laughs> doing scenes on the phone. <laughs> I'm just walking around my house doing monologues. And it's just not as fun if nobody's watching. <laughs> uh, but it truthfully, you know, we're all in this together, so we just really wanted to have some fun with you guys. And so joining us in just a second is uh, Michelle Stafford from Young and the Restless and James Patrick Stewart from General Hospital, yeah. my brother, who's no longer my brother. Um, and your brother? No, he's not a Cassidy anymore. Oh, I'm such Cassidy. an angel. I don't even know that. Well, but, yeah, he found out he's not a Cassidy. So, yeah, uh, yeah whatever. So now we can have sex. I, I, I feel like I need to just lay down now. <laughs> you think Port Charles and Genoa City have the uh, uh, COVID-19? I mean, is that, or, or, or there's a soap wall that you, that, where it can't pass? Oh, I'm sure they, I'm sure they do. I mean, I'm sure, but I know that I was reading Twitter comments and people really don't want any of the shows to address it. <laughs> I'm quite certain that's not going to happen. You never know. So, I don't know, though, but, you know, some may think, well, maybe the responsible thing to do is to, you know, but what, what would we do? You know, I'd have to, like, put a, put a glove on before I slap somebody across the face. <laughs> Hold on. I'm very angry. Hold on. And then, well, then, for one thing, there wouldn't be a run on toilet paper because nobody in daytime uses the bathroom. Oh, no, we don't go to the bathroom. Well, you do if you're just going to spy on someone. Possibly. But, yeah, we, I, I, actually, I don't think I've ever, as a care, I've been on doing this for 34 years. I've never once had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, that, no. You just I never don't. even said, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. No. No. But and then you, you, can, what? you can buy a lot of bulk food just so you can prepare it and then look at it. <laughs> Although, Sunny, I think that because the show is mob-centric, on General Hospital, I think that there would be a black market for toilet paper. Well, either that or Jason would just would, shoot the virus away. The mob would take out, would have the black market for toilet paper. Oh, I did bring this because I wanted this to look like a professional daytime talk show a little oh. bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need a coffee cup. That's where I say something witty and then I go. <laughs> <laughs> or I have my coffee cup right here. Ooh, I like yours better. Do I get money for this since I've... No. Oh. Anyway, enough of us. Let's bring in Michelle and James. Let's do it. They're here. James, who clearly didn't get the note for makeup and hair. And <laughs> he's in the you dark. Great. Thank you. Oh, Michelle, great. You, be, you biatch, you have one of those glow light things. and I have the outside light. <laughs> is that it? You don't have one of those glow things? Natural, no. Natural oh. light is oh, the best light. Right. Natural. I have no excuse. <laughs> I have you, no help whatsoever. 
but this is, I don't know about you and guys. And you look like that. Yeah, and no, that. no. I mean, no. This is you the first day in, I think, two and a half weeks that I have blown out my hair and put on any makeup whatsoever. Right. How are you guys dealing with the stress? I don't know, Michelle, you want to go? Oh, I have a lot to say. <laughs> I have a lot. How are the little animals? A little but, I like how anybody, my kids, I mean, listen, my kids are home 24 seven. I'm a single mom, go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking? Oh, you don't even drink. You don't, you don't, take, you don't take anything. I mean, I Kate's not even here, and I'm like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, as far as you know, my over the Stewart household, it's it's kind of Kubrickian. <laughs> it's like The Shining. Uh, uh, the boys are turning on each other. We're going to make sure, we're, Jocelyn and I are just going to lock ourselves up in the bedroom and, uh, and, and bar the door. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be able to feed themselves. Uh, <laughs> but getting out and going for a walk certainly saved my, my bacon and yeah. we are just recording some songs, you know, make, make, uh, make lemonade. Yeah, I was telling uh, Corey, we talked just about five minutes before you got on, that Kay is, uh, she, she's unfortunately can't come in the house because I've got you know, I, I, I have an issue with someone with immune issues yeah, and I, we have to be really super careful, but I, yeah. I needed celery for something very specific. It was important. So she, I had gone with my celery. little mask to Whole Foods and my gloves and very careful. And I went, I got to go in at seven o'clock in the morning uh, because, because I'm 60. That's fantastic. And so, uh, a special card so, that lets you get celery before the rest of us. Exactly, <laughs> celery so, of all things. And it was though. for I, very, I'm it was for a very good reason. And you know what? Okay. You're getting, you know you're getting I think good you celery. Know what? You're getting so good celery. I, but they didn't have the celery. So Kate went to five stores, got the celery. I, I there was just a steak that you know everything was like not there. So I saw a steak, so I got the steak. So Kate drove by through the celery at me and I took the steak and threw it, got it right into the window. <laughs> Did you just throw <laughs> it into the <laughs> Oh, so I have a question for both of you. Mm -hmm. James, who do you like better, Michelle or Cynthia Oh, Walker? don't say that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you little shit stir. I like, I you like. You like us for different reasons, I right? Like, That's what I always use. Uh, okay, I would listen, say, I have an answer. Best kisser? I have an answer for this. I like Cynthia the bluest, and I like Michelle the reddest, and together I like them the purplest. That's oh, you crazy. are so good. That's awesome. Well, that's what I say to my kids when I put them to bed. Mm -hmm. I get snuggly with Jameson. And I say, I love you the most. And he says, more than Gaia? And I say, yes. And then I, he calls Natalia Gaia. Then I go into Natalia's room and I'm snuggly. I say, I love you the most. And she says, more than Jameson? And I say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mothering. Another. Michelle, uh, who in your town, your fictional town, your Genoa city town, who do you think is that asshole? that one asshole that doesn't socially distance or sneeze into their arm. Who is it? Wait, uh, in real life? No, no, let's go fake. We're going fake. We're going fake people. Who's the asshole? Who's well, I mean, if I had to choose the character yep. that would do that, it would be Adam Newman would be that guy. Can't keep a distance, can't wet, can't dry sneeze. <laughs> can't dry sneeze, can't wet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like that, that guy in town. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's that guy. James, who do you think it is? And yeah. Who, who's the who's the a hole who 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 refused to not go to a spring break? Probably Michael Corinthos. No way, it's say. Valentine. No, no, he's no, he's way it's, too fastidious. It's those young kids. I mean, it's I, way I, too fastidious. I'm pretty sure my daughter, it, it would be Christina that went to party in, on the beach. But, no, yeah. wait, I'm going to change mine. I think Julian. 
I think Julian. <laughs> oh, Julian! Which is ironic because Will is probably the biggest germaphobe on the planet. He is. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's freakishly so. Like. Yeah, but Julian can't keep it in his pants, apparently. Uh -huh. I, I just mistakenly exactly. saw that little love exactly. scene. Exactly, right? Did you see that scene? That is not proper social distancing. No, that isn't. No. You know, it's because she's half my age that she takes her top off. Can you imagine? I, I wear that body thing, that bodysuit. There'll be nobody looking at my midriff. So, yeah, they had, they had to, like, you know, they got to take off different pieces of clothing. So... There's a lot of you taking stuff off, Nancy, on the internet. I've seen a lot that, of stuff. But that's because I put lots of layers over this little body thing that I wear that kind of oh. covers everything up. Well, well so. don't give away your secrets because it works, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> James is like Jew Lexus. The biggest Julexus fan. I'm a huge, I'm a No, I fan. am. You no, I am, her. Michelle, me. I am. No, me. Remember I came in to you guys and I was like, I'm a Julexus. Yeah, the same. You have the I loved it. You have the t-shirt? <laughs> I can't let you guys go. I can't let you go. <laughs> I know. I, 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 it's, it, it, it upsets me. I don't know why we don't have Julexus anymore. I should got a new man. I think you and I, Michelle, were in a scene together. I feel like it was in Kelly's, but where, you know, the Julexis thing was happening and Will and Nancy were off in a corner. And both of us were just, we were just out of the scene entirely, just watching the two of them. Just loving you guys. Just loving them. Couldn't take my eyes off. Them. It's yeah. like, it's just, it was great ARP sex. And I think that's, you know, that's our demographic, really. And I think it was just exciting to see old people like being thrown against a wall. No, it's not. No, no, no. Yeah. No, it's not, I didn't even see, I, I liked it because as I've told you, it was like the strong badass and she was totally brought down by this guy. And it was great to see her, but this woman who had everything together and had an answer for everything be, you know, like that. Now, of course, it's tough for the actress playing it because how long you can't keep on playing the woman who's brought to her knees by this guy you like that's yeah. hard to play because then you start playing stupid right <clears throat> and we never well, want that's our sort of a yeah we all you know when you do soaps long enough you know you, you put yeah this it has to have door that says leave your reality at the door <laughs> we still keep fighting for <laughs> we still keep fighting for it but we you know we do we do our best all right enough about me next question no no. <laughs> How'd you like to? No. I like There's them. still time. There's you. still time to turn a corner and find yeah. find our love again. James, uh, Nancy pointed out earlier that you guys are not related technically on the show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You think there's going to be a Alexis? Sure. Oh, gee, that was oh. <laughs> I would love to see it. Do you understand? Listen, I'm a huge Julexis fan, so if I can get in there any way, it'd be like baseball <laughs> fantasy camp, you know what I mean? It'd be like, cool. <laughs> Who do I have to kiss, Julian or Alexis? So, so I have a, <laughs> you know, Jameson? all good, it's all good. So, so who are, you okay? who, who are your parents? Who are my real parents? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't think anybody knows who the dad is. Oh, but um, that's true about a lot of kids. <laughs> Wait, are you not a Cassidyne? No. Well, you leave town and everything goes crazy. Really. Corey, who do you think his daddy is? Uh, Valentine's daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I think it's Luke. Julian. Luke. Luke. I think it's Sunny. I think there's a reason why it can't be Luke though, because Luke. Oh. is related so there's some sort of relation there it can't be but i mean it's who's like your mom sorry who's your mom um yeah helena helena okay. sorry oh, but she's still, still your mom mother. she's still oh. your mom uh yeah she's my mother oh okay uh, okay oh okay it, wait a second Do, so it was weird. supposed to be mykonos right that's right. my daddy and did you know who the mom was? Was it Constance? Um, 
No, there's too much math involved. You uh, have gone okay, soap sorry. dish now where you're merging character names. I know. Really cool. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, too much math involved. I just know that sorry, Helena is the We got some right, really great, right. great great scenes with Helena uh, and, and Valentine, and now that's been explained, but we don't know who the father is yet. Oh, okay. And who's your daddy? Me? Yeah. My, daddy, my daddy's Mikos. Mikos. He yeah. tried to freeze the world. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy tried to freeze the world <laughs> what did your dad do <laughs> yeah really all right corey next question who's phyllis's daddy yeah oh who, yeah who's your daddy oh uh he it, her family <clears throat> was um inconsequential they never really uh, you know they brought the they brought family members in they brought the dad in then he died they they had the mom in the mom was abby dalton on oh. Falcon Crow. Oh wow. Guys, yeah, for like for like three shows. And then uh her dad was um oh shit, that great actor who was on uh The White Shadow. Ah uh, uh, Ken Howard. Oh. Ken Howard and he died. And then her sister was uh Avery uh, uh Jessica Collins who I think was on the show for five years and then mm -hmm. stayed on after I left. But um, but it's like uh, they're not tied to the show. They're only tied. Those characters are only only tied through Phyllis. Hmm. So, and I don't mean that in a shitty way. So don't nobody get you on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean like they they weren't connected to anybody else on the show. I think Avery later on married Steve Burton's character. See, we're all connected. It's crazy. We're all connected. It's crazy, but yeah, he's uh, dead. Phyllis's dad is dead. Do you know that I've never crossed over to another soap? I've I know. Done, yeah, I've done Santa Barbara and this one all the way till yeah, died, till that one died, and I hope John Hospital. Santa Barbara and was then, your first wait. soap. Hmm? Santa Barbara was your first soap. Actually, no. While I was in school at the Negro Playhouse in New York. I was cheating and doing, I played Marco Dane's secretary on um, One Life to Live. Mm -hmm. On One Life to Live, I remember Marco Dane. And I worked with Judith Light. And I was really, you know, I was still in school, so I was not very good. But they thought I was, I, so they kept me there. And then mm. I, I got uh, uh, the Gangster Chronicles and I did, I, I almost got that. So I, the te they tested back in those days, screen tests over and over, so it took me to Los Angeles, and then Joe Stewart, the producer of One Life to Live, sued, uh, tried to sue me for leaving, and I was I, I wasn't under contract. Hmm. So yeah, so yeah. I did arbitration and do all that. And so I, he, you know, at least he wanted me, but hmm. uh, that wasn't nice. You know, I got I got a chance to go do it recently. Or Jocelyn and I watched Tootsie, and I hadn't seen yeah. that movie in what thirty years or yeah. something like that. I just can't believe how um, familiar it all feels, you know, how, when you do this for a living, watching his interpretation of what, of what the life, uh, uh, what the day of the life is yeah. like. Okay, wait, this is way more interesting. What's happening, Michelle? <laughs> they're fighting like they're, they do. Well, that's what we want to watch. Little things hitting <laughs> each other. I got in trouble yesterday because I posted a picture of Trump's signature. And I said, it looks like the last two weeks on the Dow. <laughs> And I got, but that was hilarious. What do you well, mean? Well, I got, got crucified for that because, rightly so. I think Instagram is not really a place where you're supposed to throw steak and let everybody just attack each other. I, <laughs> I think life should be nicer than that. I, I should have, I should have known better. But it definitely got the reaction. People were out for blood. Corey, you have to set me up better on Instagram. I'm hardly ever on it because I don't like. I don't want to take pictures of myself. It's my favorite of the social medias, me and it's my least favorite. Oh, really? It can be creative. It can be really creative. And um, I just uh, don't, I mean, I, honestly, I don't like taking pictures of myself. Well, then that's well, a don't problem. Take them of yourself. Well, don't take them of yourself. Yeah. Take them of other things. And why is that interesting? Well, it's what you write with the oh. picture that's interesting. But, but that's it's interesting. what you write. Like, it's you have a lot of time to write something. Mm -hmm. I spend so much time on Twitter. I can't. I just don't have time to. Show it all. Yeah, because you're more you're more cerebral. I think that the the, the Instagram is for somebody who's visually oriented. If right. you went into a restaurant that had pictures, that's Instagram. You know, the the menu has pictures on it. That's Instagram. 
Whereas I think you're more of a cerebral person. You go for the lyrics, you go for the poetry. But, but she can do that on, rap. She can do it on Instagram too. Because you can do like really short stories that disappear in 24 hours. They disappear. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. gone. Um, and for me, Instagram is, it's soothing. It's a nice place to go because all I follow are dogs and interior designers. <laughs> I know, me too. Yeah. I like looking at pretty kitchens. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It makes me happy. Wait, this Here, is a good question. I don't have any so, hey, this is a good question. The daytime Emmys were canceled. So who's the poor, who are the poor schmucks that we're going to win this year that will not get a chance to go on stage and get their, their statue? But will they get their statue anyway? Oh, yeah, in the mail. But oh. I mean, there will be no ceremony. The mail. Who are the poor schmucks? I have no idea. Yeah. But you know, it's good because, you know, it's not about trophies, right? I mean, the cool part is getting up there and having everybody applaud you and tell you you're great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Um, <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. have you guys gone to the grocery store yet? Yes. I have. How was that experience? Terrifying. Yeah, what happened, Corey? Did you go to Costco? No, it, it was only terrifying because James, you were talking about earlier people walking around in masks. Yeah. yeah. Walking through um, Trader Joe's or Ralph's while everyone is wearing a mask uh -huh. or they've got something around their face is a little, it's a little off-putting. It's, it's mm -hmm. jarring. Mm -hmm. I mean, even mm -hmm. if you go in thinking that you're fine, you're not going to touch anybody, you're just going to grab right. a can of soup and leave. Right. It's really jarring. Yeah. You know what I, I noticed though is that the, the only thing that's fully stocked is the vegan area. Like the gluten free. Oh, oh you know what else? <laughs> Nobody wine. wants that. Even the vegans are now like eating macaroni and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Regular kind. I, all the jar, I know the canned goods and the jarred stuff, there's plenty of that. Like the stuff that would actually keep. It seems like everybody just went directly for the uh, the, 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 the Twinkies. <laughs> yeah, they did. The I mean, all, like all the vegetables and fruits are yeah. in stock, yeah. all the vegan stuff. Um, all the wine at the Whole Foods, like it was totally filled. I don't know. You know, it's interesting. I got to say something really quickly. Like for us, like on day one of like quarantine, on day one of just like social distancing, uh, we ate like we were going to the chair. I'm pretty sure that I gained like, I gained like three or four pounds, all of it bread. Just like, is this what the end of days is like? This is, this is how it's going to go? I'm just going to pop my button and just lay there and binge watch Netflix. That's <laughs> what Armageddon is. Okay. But now there isn't a food shortage, correct? It doesn't seem to be. And it makes kind of makes sense because to get to that place, you know, the whole system would have to break down. I mean, I'm guessing, but it sure looks to me like everything's still being delivered. And even this toilet paper shortage they were talking about, I'm pretty sure they were burning the midnight oil, making more toilet paper. I'm pretty sure that it's, it's, uh, it's coming. I mean, I, I don't think, I think at the end of the day, you know, a lot of us in Hollywood are going to look pretty, we're going to have a lot of toilet paper for a long time. <laughs> All right, Nance. All right, you guys. Take so, your friends. Mm -hmm. Have a good Bye. one. Bye, you two. Thank you so Bye, much. You guys are, I miss you. I miss you desperately. Yeah, we'll see you Don't ever the, touch the me again, okay? Or I will pepper spray you. I'm just saying. Yeah. Don't try to carry that. Now. If you come near me, you get pepper spray. Bye.